London, 10-year-old children are being asked by the British National Health Service, NHS, whether they are comfortable with their gender in official health surveys being completed in schools, it has emerged. The form given to children in year 6 asks, do you feel the same inside as the gender you were born with? Feeling male or female? Youngsters are also asked to tick a box to confirm their true gender, with options of boy, girl and other. Parents have been told that the NHS survey helps healthcare workers and teachers develop better ways to understand and support children who may be struggling with their identity, but it is not known whether individual children will be approached for further support based on their answers. MPs and parents claimed the question was intrusive and could confuse children, amid growing concerns in some quarters over the inclusion of transgender issues in primary schools. The form issued by the Lancashire Care NHS Foundation Trust, is thought to have been sent to schools across the county and it is unclear whether the initiative has been more widely adopted. A tutor wrote to London's Telegraph expressing surprise at the line of questioning in the survey, which has traditionally been used to monitor weight, fitness and health issues. Tim Loughton, the Conservative MP and a former children's minister, claimed the question was deeply worrying. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. He said, at a time when children are growing up and having to deal with all sorts of challenges of the modern world, now they are being asked to confront their gender, which for many will be unsettling. Clearly we need to be sensitive about the issue of gender and sexual orientation but forcing children to question whether they are the right gender so early on can be deeply destabilizing. Currently, the NHS does not offer gender reassignment surgery to people under 18 but children are sometimes given hormone treatment. Critics claim that the medical risks are not well enough understood. But advocates say the trauma caused by going through puberty in the wrong body can lead to mental health problems and an increased risk of suicide. Figures released earlier this year by the Gender Identity Development Service show that the number of under minus 18s referred to the clinic has increased from 314 in 2011 to 2016 last year. Lindsay Simpson, the mother from Leyland whose daughter brought home a letter about the questionnaire on Thursday from her Church of England school, said the 10-year-old had been in such a state about it. I don't want someone putting into my daughter's head that she might not be happy with her own gender, she said. She said the head teacher had not been aware of the question and that he had been very supportive after the content of the form was brought to his attention. Jacob Rees-Mogg, a Conservative MP, said, it is quite intrusive. These are